Hi, it's Lainey. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a very late summer reading wrap up. So I'm just going to show you every book I read this summer and also give you like a quick rating of them, I guess. My opinion, how many stars I gave it. I don't remember which books I read. So I'm going to find them and I'm going to show you. So, like I said, I'm going to be showing you every book I read in June, July and August. There's 12 in total and I'm going to show you in the order I read them. I also have my phone so I'm going to look at my rating of them and try to show you everything. Yeah, I'm going to start with June. I read three books in June. The first book I read in June was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I love the Harry Potter series. It's definitely my favorite and if you haven't read it I do recommend it. Order of the Phoenix is one of my favorite Harry Potter books. I love them. Harry and Sirius together. I love them. I wish they had more time together. I gave Order of the Phoenix four stars. The next book I read in June was Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Another amazing book. I love it. I don't really know what else there is to say. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I gave this book a 5 star rating. It's, it's really good. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. I love the book. I love the story. I love the characters. Like, if you haven't read Harry Potter, what are you doing? I want to reread them so bad. All of them. But I have so many other books I need to read first. The last book I read in June was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, another amazing Harry Potter book. I gave this book a 4 star rating as well. It's not as good as Order of the Phoenix, but it's not down on 3 stars, so I kept it at 4. It's very sad. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. It's, uh, it's the end of the series, which is upsetting. I wish there were more, but at the same time it ended on such an amazing like, way. I really enjoyed the ending. What I did not enjoy is how the movie ending is very different. Like, why did you change it? What was the point? I'm talking... Oh no, my battery is flashing. <laughs> That's sad. I'm gonna have to charge my battery and then I'm gonna continue. We're back. I had to charge my battery. We're here now. So we're going to move on to July. If I look down, it's because I have my phone because I'm looking at my reviews. The first book I read in July was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I really like this book. I know that Colleen Hoover is getting a lot of hate right now and people are hating on people who enjoy her books as well. I really liked it. I finished this book very quickly. Let's see. Like, It Ends With Us was my... was like the first book I read that really got me into reading. I loved reading as a child, but then I stopped. And then book talk happened. It Ends With Us. Read it. I liked it. And I kept reading. And I spent quite a lot of time reading that. And then Ugly Love. Out of all of Glean Hoover's books, I read It Ends With Us first, then Confess, which is the best one. Then I read Ugly Love. And I also really enjoyed it. I've already said that a million times, but now I'm going to find it. I read it in five days. It's still a lot, but it's a lot quicker than it ends, with, it ends with us. Because I really love the book. I don't really know what else to tell you about it. The characters. I love them and their relationship and the development of their relationship and all of it. It's a bit toxic at times. But they are adorable. And the next book, November 9th. I forgot to show you my rating. I gave Ugly Love five stars. Really enjoyed it. Four and a half, November 9th. I read that right after Ugly Love. It's uh, definitely the little plot twist there. Maybe people expected it. I did not. 
but their little relationship and how they met and all of that, her finding out. There was a lot of emotions and I finished that in two days. My rating of November 9 was four stars. I really enjoyed the book. I read it much faster than the other because it was easier to read. But in the end, the story in Ugly Love was just better. I think every time I read a book I just think it's better than the one I read before but then like I go back and think through it and then I choose my rating. The third book I read in July was Siege and Storm. I don't know if I'm saying that right by Leigh Bardugo. Lee Bardugo? I don't know. I thought it was Lay Bardugo but then I saw other people say her name like Lee and now I'm confused. But anyways, I read Shadow and Bone in April, I think, and I really like that. I gave this one three stars. It's very slow, it didn't really get interesting until the end, and just, it took some time to get into, and I kind of had to force myself to get through it, which is never good, but I wanted to finish the story when I already started it. Like, obviously, the story is important to the third book in the series. The next book I read was Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. In the Harry Potter universe, it's one of the books they use in school. Just a little overview of all of the magical creatures in the wizarding world, which is interesting to read. And it like has, it has the name of the creature, the classification, and a little description of what it is. I gave this book four stars. Obviously this isn't the same type of book as the other ones I'm reading because it's more of like facts, not really facts because it's fiction but it's like a fictional fact book, I don't know. I really like the beginning of it, him like talking about how the world kind of twisted the story and don't know everything. I think that was very interesting, especially since I read this when I was watching the movie. I don't know, I just really like that. Then I read The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. This is my favorite standalone book like ever. I fell in love with the characters and the story immediately. And I finished this in less than a day. I love this book with all my heart and their adorable little relationship. I think the book is based on a very little fanfic, or it's like a rewrite of a very little fanfic. Do with that what you want. We're gonna get into Star Wars apparently. Are we shipping Raylo? I don't know. Because in The Force Awakens, I hated them. Kylo, we should call him Kylo. I did not like him at all. And just going into that movie, knowing that people ship them. It, like, that was disgusting to me. Then I watched The Last Jedi. And their adorable little connection. And I kind of fell in love with them. The ending of that movie, how that turned out between them, hurt my feelings. Because, like, clearly he loved her. And I think she loved him too. Good for her that she chose the good side. But still, I, I really wanted them together. I wanted him to come back. That's not the point of this video. This book, amazing. A lot of people are hating on that one as well. When people are hating on book talk books. But this, it's... It's so sweet. And I love them. And the way he was standing up for her. Even if she didn't want to tell him. But he figured it out and he was there for her. And I love them. I want to read this book again. My favorite. Absolutely my favorite. And I don't think any standalone will ever beat it. Like my love for Harry Potter is... I think that tops it, but like standalones, I love that book. And if you're gonna read any of the books I'm recommending, we're showing you that one. I gave that five stars, obviously, my favorite. The next book I read in July, the last book I read in July, was Daisy Jones and the Six. Obviously heard a lot about that before going into the book. I have some things to say. I gave it four stars, most people give it five stars. I think it's a bit overrated, kind of, and then at the same time I love it. So I don't really know. I was expecting more from it. 
I guess, because of all of the hype around it. But it's the way it was written. At first, I didn't like it, so I took some time to just get used to it. But the style, it's like interesting, it's new, and it's different. And I like that, I think. It was like refreshing. And also, I love Daisy. I don't remember the names of the characters. That's upsetting, but the kind of love interest that didn't really turn out to be the love interest, but like them going from like hating each other to kind of that. I'm trying not to spoil, I didn't really think about that. But I think everyone's read that, I was really late to it. But like the relationship between Daisy and this one guy. Also the relationship with Daisy and the others. But then them, like, I was hope the ending, I forgot about that. I, I don't remember any of the books I've read really. But when things happened, I was upset about him and his wife. But the ending, it was so cute. So, yeah, read it. It's good. It's good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. Like, it's written as kind of like an interview instead of like a story. So you kind of get everyone's different views about how things happened and how just everything turned out. I really like it. It's interesting. I think more people should write like that. Shouldn't copy her, obviously. I remembered something about this book that I had forgot about. The ending and the, the little thing about like the author of the book. Kind of. I'm trying to spoil things. But that... I think that changed the book for me. That like made it so much better. Because in the beginning I didn't like it. And that's another one of the books that I was kind of like forcing myself to read. But the ending that just made it so special when they like revealed the thing. Like I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read it. Like you I think you're gonna understand what I'm talking about if you read it. And if you haven't read it yet and you're choosing to read it, think about that. That was all the books I read in July. Now we're moving on to August. So I read three books in August. One of them is My Policeman. Obviously, Harry is starring in the movie. I think that's coming out in October. I'm very excited to see it. I wasn't sure how I would feel about it going into the book. So it doesn't really seem like my type of book. Not like something I would have chosen if I weren't a Harry's fan. But I did love it. The relationship between Tom and... I don't remember his name. Patrick. It's Patrick. The relationship between Tom and Patrick is so cute. I also liked his friendship with Marianne a lot. I ended up hating Marianne at the end of the book for what she did. I'm not gonna say what she did in case you haven't read it. But why? Like I know you're upset but like why would you do that? It's just no, don't do it. I gave that book four stars. It's still not my favorite but I loved it. I'm very excited for the movie. The second book I read in August was Ruin and Rising. Again by Leigh Bardugo, Leigh Bardugo, however you say it. I like this one a lot better than the second one. I gave this four stars. I really like the story and uh, yeah, I'm very excited for season two of Shadow and Bone to come out. Both because I'm a huge fan of Ben Barnes but also the story and there's some characters I'm really excited to see. Like Nicola, I don't know how to say it. I don't, I'm very confused on how you say that like in English. It's turn around. Stormhound. Storm, I can't. Remember. I'm very excited. But this book. It ended with things I did not like, which it should happen, because clearly he's not a good person. But I still loved him, and I think Alina loved him a bit as well. The relationship and friendship, whichever you want to use, between Mal and Alina, in this book, is something I really enjoyed. I wasn't the biggest fan of Mal in the beginning, but in this book I love him. But also, like the way things turned out with the Darkwing and the ending. And that book also had, um, like the story The Demon in the Wood, which is like kind of like a Darkwing prequel story about his childhood, which was interesting. Yeah, I really liked that book. I'm very excited for season two already said that. I'm also very excited to read Six of Crows. Still haven't done that, but it's coming. 
four stars. Loved it. I also kind of feel the need to mention a very little Q&A at the end of the books and her being in love with Henry Cavill. She's very real for that and I, like, I get it. I agree with you and it makes me love you even more because I love him as well. Big Henry Cavill fan right here. You're a fan too. That's great. Just had to mention that. Now, on to the last book I read this summer is Shatter Me. I finished this book in less than a day. I spent a few hours on it. When I started it, I thought it was a romance book. It's a fantasy book. It's a romance as well. This book, it's happening things like... <sighs> I can't speak. Things are happening at all times. Like, you got straight into the story. Because like, I've read a few books now that like started out a bit slow. But this one, you're like straight on and things are happening all the time. Like, you could never be bored. I was a little confused because everyone is like very in love with Warner. Which to me doesn't make sense. Because I've only read the first book and he's not a good person. But everyone loves him so clearly that's going to change. I've been looking for the second book for so long. And in my bookstore, there's one bookstore in my city, two actually, but I, we don't talk about that. The one that I go to. They have like the fifth book, the sixth book, the seventh book. But not the second one. I'm not going to skip that. I need the second one right now. I've been in a reading slump. I haven't read a book in a month. But I think if I get the next book in this stupidly adorable series, I will get back to it. I need that book right now. Please. Like, Harry Potter, my favourite. Read this. I was really starting, starting to question who do I love more? Because I don't know. It's like fantasy, sci-fi kind of dystopian and romance friendship it's like this story like i've never seen anything like that before i read one book that's kind of similar but it's also completely different i love it read it yes that's all of the books i read this summer feel free to comment down below some good books that you think i should read hopefully you enjoyed this if you're going to take anything away from this video i would say these two books the Love Hypothesis and Shadow Me. Amazing storylines, amazing books, amazing characters. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope I see you next time. I post every Saturday, sometimes another day of the week as well. Depends on how busy I am. I am in university. It takes time. But every Saturday. See you. Love you. Bye.